All right, folks, we are here at Real Foot. Uh, excited about being here. I've got Elliot Tomlinson um, as my, my my friend, the guy that has reached out to me, and we are going to be yeah, we're gonna we're gonna introduce you to him. And uh, just arrived here at a beautiful. I'm surprised by how many cypress trees there are, but certainly a quiet setting. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day on the water. So to truly experience crappie fishing, I think it is important that you travel and experience different lakes. And that's what three pound fishing is doing. We're reaching out to a lot of guides and we're experiencing new lakes, new crappie experiences at three pound fishing. I can't wait to share it with you. Actually respond to one of my posts about, and I can't remember exactly the topic, but Elliot Thomason responded and said, hey, if you're ever near Real Foot, give me a call. I'll take you out on Real Foot. Um, love to show you the lake. And I said, you know what? I'm headed in that direction why not so hey let that be a lesson if you do comment and you say something like that it might be to your lake there's a my there's a chance that i'm actually going to reach out and say hey i'll take you up on that let's do that so i'm going to learn everything about real foot with elliot can't wait to introduce you to him we're almost there folks now real foot's not that far from my house two and a half hours down the road this was an easy one i really thank elliot for the opportunity let's put some fish in the boat Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. And there he is right there, Elliot Tomlinson. Do I have that right? That's right. That's right. What's up, folks? So, welcome to Real Foot. So, how long have you been fishing Real Foot? Oh, man. Uh, since I was a little boy, uh, Granddad used to bring me out here uh, quite a few times. It was always getting hung up on stumps, spider rigging. <laughs> Lots changed since then. It's a whole different ball game now. So, so Elliot reached out on one of my posts. I can't remember exactly which post, but he basically was saying, "Anytime you're this way, you know, give me a holler and I'll show you a real foot." And so, this is how today actually occurred. So crazy! It's crazy. It's just. <laughs> one comment could lead to a fun trip who knows <laughs> so we're going to do a couple episodes here on real foot and probably even get to do one of the uh, podcasts that we have so we're looking forward to sharing with you real foot my first time on the lake so i'm going to learn a lot so i'm looking forward to it let's go do it there we go folks this lake is beautiful the cypress trees took me back i did not expect that whatsoever the shallowness of the lake took me back and how much structure is available for crappie fishermen to fish folks this place is incredible beautiful ample amount of boat ramps and uh right smack dab in the middle of the midwest it doesn't get any better than that and elliot fantastic guide on the lake and uh, you're going to hear a little bit about his actual guide service that he has, so look forward to that. And we're going to put some massive fish in the boat. We're gonna go, it's almost like a bowl out here. The deepest part's like 22 foot. There's a hole out here pretty much. It's an average probably 13 foot deep uh, on this end. And uh, yeah, once you pass that tree line right over there, it's like 6 foot all the way down to zero. Really? The rest of the lake. So out of the lake, how much is really fishable? I mean, like, what do you... Uh, a lot of people like fishing real shallow, so, like, pretty much the whole thing. Like, some people love uh, jigging three or four inches underwater. So they fish a lot of it. The north end, live scopers will be primarily out here and some on the north end. Uh, you'll see a few out of Kirby's, uh, but majority of us are out here. Gotcha. So how, how, what is the deepest part? So the hole is 22 feet? It's probably, depends who you talk to. Okay. It, it's, it could be 24 if you hit the right spot, but it's literally probably the size of my boat. So, so is this, are we at pool now? Pretty much. Pretty much. He's got the setup. He's got a 126 SV, which you're going to see a lot of today. Um, the Solex, beautiful Solex. That's awesome. But it's, oh. And you're going slow because of the stumps? Yeah. So I noticed right off the bat, like the water clarity, it's it's really not nearly as muddy as I thought it was gonna I thought it was gonna be muddy. I mean it, it, it's not. It's like a some of the old timers would call it like black water. You right. can get up in some of the shower places and the water will be like a black color. Right. And there you go, that's why we're idling. Um but you never know. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he lives on the lake. I mean, he fishes this lake as much as anybody, and he's still hitting stuff, which is, it's amazing. I mean, seriously. Yep. There's no getting around it. 
you can run from some places out here if you're brave enough i guess <laughs> some people know it like some of the old timers that they'll run their bigger boats out here but our our john boats and duck boats will we'll run wide open there's smaller shoots you can run but a big motor like this has no give so if you hit a stump you're hitting the stump <laughs> so have you ever lost a motor i mean what's your i haven't lost a motor uh i've bent prop shafts broke props uh anything you think you can do to a motor other than break it off we've done it and so will will people not go to a ramp like that where they know they have to do what you're doing right now and, and maybe go to a safer part of the lake well that's the thing there isn't a, a, a per se safer part of the lake it's like this everywhere um there's just some places that have, we have boat trails and uh, you can run those and people can get into ditches and stuff which ditches are pretty clear they keep them uh, dug out for us so they'll, they may run that in the lake it's like the middle portion of the lake right um some people like over there but a lot of the resorts are based around this end of the lake and the north end which is just like this so there's really no no way of getting around it how many acres is this lake you were, you were, good, good, good question good question next question it's a it's, it's a pretty expansive lake though we have one crappie angler over there it looks like you guys can see him back right there and a guy way over here so essentially we have the whole entire lake to ourselves elliot's made that happen so i rented the whole lake for you rented the whole lake <laughs> do you like working off that side oh yeah this is really my, interesting this is my side <laughs> sweet is that uh, your side yes it is perfect we could be teammates i, I fish would... with my I, I wish with my i fish with my left hand this is it i noticed that in the videos is when you like cast with your right and then you deliver it to your left every uh -huh. time yeah yeah i feel the line with my with these fingers right here i, I, I mean, see I, I feel it with my right hand yeah that's pretty awesome all right cool so 126 sv i forgot how much i appreciated the 126 sv he's got a, looks like a kind of a homemade transducer turner thing so the problem with uh, this style is it comes with a hydraulic hose with a t-handle and the t-handle falls down and i have to find it right well this every time i don't have to look i know exactly where my handle's at when i put my hand here how, and how so I mean, like it's just repetitiveness when right. you are you feeling this groove at all do you yeah, know what so, that groove represents yeah that's when i'm dead center yeah that grooves up and to the right just a hair that's like awesome. my thumb lands right there on it and obviously i noticed that little red guy down there yep so me and my wife fish all our tournaments together oh okay there you go so there's the first official real foot crappie it's kind of a, it's a small one but a good start white crappie white crappie white crappie little real foot little bit little one go find some bigger ones Got a pretty good goose egg over there. Woohoohoo! My first official real foot. Elliot's putting me putting me on them. It's awesome. They're like on structure this one here was just a, a guy that was roaming let me show you what i caught that on this is a, a wedge head my carrot right there and uh i don't know if that's the ticket or not he's got a much bigger bait so i'm looking excited to see what his will do as well but i'll tell you he's finding fish and that's awesome that's a pretty fish that was fun Thanks, Elliot. That was awesome, dude. They're good times every time. It doesn't get old ever. <laughs> it's like a drug. <laughs> so Elliot was telling me he actually has a guide service on Real Foot. Tell us a little bit about it. Oh yeah, new in the game. Uh, I do it on the weekends for fun. Uh, if you're looking to have a good time, Wicked Coots uh, is my guide service. We're on Facebook. Uh, we just started up this year. So if you're willing to give me a shot, come on out here. We're going to catch some fish and have a good time. I'm out here for fun. 
So you should come out here for fun too. Man, it's a lot of fun. Hey, check him out. I'll put his information in the description below. Probably put a Facebook page up as well. So check him out. Let's catch some fish, man. He just won't commit. He's got commitment issues. That fish followed him all the way up to the surface. Here's your fish right here. Here's your target. You can see him dropping in. Go ahead. There you go, that's a good job right there. Oh yes, that pop right there. Bam! There you go. Boy, he would taste good in some grease. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. So definitely a combination of suspended fish and fish on structure, which is a lot of fun. Reminds me of Darbone. Reminds me a lot of Darbone. Really thought the water would be muddier. Fish are roughly around eight to 12 foot. This particular fish is sitting at eight, but. Yep, here he goes. Tank, there's a real foot. Monster, baby. <laughs> <laughs> when you confuse him for top of a log. <laughs> Check out that hog. Check that out. That is a beautiful fish. Good night. Welcome to Real Foot, buddy. Hey, that's that's exciting stuff right there. This guy was, like he said, sleeping there. Only three and a half foot down. I gotta save him for pictures. Do we have a live one we can save? Oh, save yes, this is a picture fish right here. That is a beautiful fish. That was fun. So you think maybe targeting <laughs> shallower fish is the key? Good night. I think the key is going to be on structure and not rolling. Wow. Right there. Man. Y'all, that is a deadly little bait. <laughs> You sell them on your website, right? You know I do, but I haven't put this one on the website yet. You're gonna need to. Yeah, we'll call this one Real Foot. So you'll see it on the website. We'll just call it Real Foot. Maybe we'll call it Elliot or something. You should. You well, should. maybe we'll name it after your your, uh, your uh, guide service. Little Coot. Little Coot. That's gonna be Little Coot. You should put the pink head on there too. <laughs> pink head. <laughs> pink head. Maybe there'll be two versions of Little Coot. A pink and, a, and an orange head. For sure. We'll let you guys know about that. I'll fill you in at the end of this episode. Boom. Hold on. Okay. There he is. Boy, he looked a lot bigger on there, didn't he? <laughs> Still fun. You love the thump, no matter for what. Pro release. That was awesome. That was fun. It's a good thing it's waterproof. <laughs> good thing it's waterproof. Good thing it's waterproof. I thought Matt was going to go swimming. You guys went for a ride. Tell me it ain't exciting on real foot. This is, this is, this is normal, this amount of boat. It's really empty for the, for the most part. Springtime, we get a little, little bit more boats out here, especially, you know, the fair weather fishermen come out here on a good, a good slick day. Cause you can tell there's nowhere to hide from the wind. Yeah. You just have to be, get good in the wind. <laughs> so he had said that there's a lot of, there's a lot of boat ramps on the lake. So easy to get on the water. Um, I, we didn't, I, I'm assuming they're free of charge. I didn't. All of ours are free of charge. Yeah, so that's nice. So a good thing to know about real foot is that to fish it, you do need a preservation permit. And you, along with, of course, a Tennessee fishing license. So those two documents are needed. I believe you can get away with just electronic version of it on your phone, um, or if they have proof of it, they can certainly bring it up. So very important, make sure you have those two pieces. This lake does require a permit. Boom. 
Oh, oh man. Well, Elliot, first first day on the on the lake. I appreciate it, man. It's been fun. Gosh, real foot, a great experience. Just beautiful lake and uh, appreciate it, man. What was the name of that guide service again? Wicked Cooch Guide Service. All right, I'll put the phone number here on the screen and thanks for watching Real Foot. Uh, we're gonna do a couple episodes from Real Foot and probably even a podcast. So uh, stay tuned, watch for those episodes and uh, thanks for joining, please subscribe. Thanks buddy. It was fun. Awesome. Well, Real Foot did not disappoint. Beautiful Lake, Elliot, check out his guide service. I will definitely be back at Real Foot every summer I plan on coming back to this lake. I'd love to experience the spawn here as well. It's just a great lake. Thanks for watching, folks. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.